What's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna do something different, and we're gonna do. I'm gonna be looking at um, the coronavirus outbreak or pandemic, actually. Um, information. And so, right here we got um, this website called Worldometer, and it may seem like it's not the best source, but it matches up pretty well with um, all the other sources I found. So. Um, pretty good with I think this source is probably one of the best ones you can get it also has one where you can check the world population that one's not accurate but this one's updated a lot more than that one so yeah let's get started so before we start this I have to say even though I said this might be probably my favorite source this isn't the best definitely other ones might be better I'm not saying this one is the best and of course this any information may be wrong in any way, shape, or form. So I'm just going to use this because it seems okay. All right. So enough of that. Let's get into the video. So first things first is coronavirus cases. So this is total cases over all time since, I think, December 31st, 2019. So you can see about 3.2 million. So that is a lot. But you can't just take that. So first things is... Here's a graph of it. So as we can see, it gradually, until right about here, middle of March, it skyrocketed and just keeps going up. So major contributor of this, sorry about that, is um, the U.S. So the U.S., as you can see over here, is the top by far. Like, it is literally seven times... Correct me if my math is wrong, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's seven times. Wait, what am I doing? It's six. I can't do math. Five times more than Spain, which is number two. That's just crazy. So, back up here, deaths. Now, deaths is the one that's, I'd say, more inaccurate. There's This could go so many ways because it could be, like, false deaths. You could not be reporting enough deaths. Cases could be off, too, because of testing and all. But the main thing to look at also is this recovered number. So almost a third of the cases have been recovered. So that's nice. We do have 2 million active cases, which is the highest it's ever been. That keeps going up. So we can see here. It is starting to level off very slowly, though. Right here. Yeah. Another good thing is, according to this, only 3% of the active cases are in, are in serious or critical, which means they're probably in the ICU, on a ventilator. Maybe, I'm pretty sure that in mild condition could also mean a hospital, like, just not ICU, I'm not sure about that. Second of all, closed cases, we have over a million recovered, and 231,000 deaths, so... That is a lot, 18,000, but if we look at this graph, graph, I can't speak, all right. It was at 21, 22,000 a couple weeks ago, and now it's starting to go, go down. So as more people recover, that's going to go down and balance out. So now we're going to go down to, so it is affecting 212 countries and territories, which is pretty much everyone. I mean, there's like barely anything that's not on here. Some of them, this green shows that they're on fully recovered or some people died like there's no more active cases like greenland and um st Bartholomew, but enough of that we're gonna look at um u.s right now so as you can see usa so i'm gonna click on this so we have this is where i live i mean most viewers probably are from the u.s the only video that like people were not from the u.s i'm pretty sure was like my giveaway so enough of that so 63,000 deaths a little bit over 1 million cases and 150,000 recovered so as you can see a 30% death rate but as more people recover it's going to go down like as you can see here it's going down slowly but steadily so here's some notes we don't need to worry about that. So now here's a list of states. And the top state is obviously New York. It's about a, th a little less than a third of the cases. 
already, yeah, don't, sorry about that, should have, shouldn't have kept the, um, notification thing on, all right, um, second of all is, second is New Jersey, you see Massachusetts, Illinois, California, Pennsylvania, all the populous states are the ones that have the most, which is pretty obvious to why, because they have more people, and as you can see, like, Wyoming, Montana, Alaska, which are low population, have the least, so what I want to look at here is, um, not the specific states exactly, but, um, this graph right here, which I find interesting, total cases, so, as you can see right here, it doesn't look like much, it's just a straight up line after it increased, you can see that because this is the daily new cases, so each line is how many new cases were reported each day, so as you can see, it started really low, like, you can't even see it at this part, and then it goes up, and then it stopped growing rapidly around beginning of April, and then it's just kind of going up and down with a slow trend going down, very, very slowly, so it's barely noticeable. So using this information, so I also use this information to compare it with a country that's a little bit ahead of us, which is Italy. So Italy, they have a lot less cases than us, but obviously they're less population, so that's less deaths, obviously. So all you have to do it on all, um, yeah. So, um, if we look at their daily new cases, actually looks a lot similar to us. They went up, then they went up and down, slowly down. They did go a little bit faster to go down than what we're doing currently, but the point is they are going down. And they're actually pretty low right now. So what I hope, and see active cases are even down from the peak. So that means more people are recovering than new cases, which is amazing. So what I hope to see is the U.S. continue to level off and start to go down. The only problem is some states are reopening, which is definitely not going to help it. It's probably going to prolong it longer. And this might actually start to grow again, which is what I'm worried about. And people might think just because it stopped growing and slowly going down that it's all clear, but it's not. We're very far away. We're, I did some math, and I if it stayed this way, if it didn't get any worse, we would still have more active cases, more active cases growing until June or even July. Now, deaths, I mean, deaths is all over the place. I mean, you can't really judge this. So I'm not really going to look at deaths, but I hope this was informative. Again, this was not meant to spread fear. I just wanted to show you my opinion on this. So, yeah, thanks for watching.